Our first focus uh, in honoring the guys was first take care of their families. Um, that was our immediate focus, is how can we assist them get over those first few rough days and weeks. Um, I mean, just a tragic loss. But then it, uh, it, was, it, it was pretty obvious that uh, we needed to do more. And uh, we sat down and we said, we're going to come up with some ideas that we think are appropriate. Um, obviously, the uniform patch was the first thing. Um, so we agreed that uh, it needed to be their initials to get all seven. In a circular fashion, obviously the Redbird head needed to be on there for the Redbird family because that gives our student athletes a tangible way to support the families. I think it really brought the community together and for us to still be able to remember them and remember their families and be able to wear that patch and just represent them and represent our university I think is it's really important. All these men were in some form or fashion or some type of booster of our, our football program and our athletic department here at ISU. Um, so we wanted to, you know, take them with us any way we can and uh, recognize all seven of them. And it's all 19 teams, all year. We talked to the student athletes uh, a week or so ago, and, and they understand the significance of what this patch means and what it signifies to the, to the families and to the community and to the campus. I think that the patch has brought our, um, the different sports teams together, and I think that we use this patch to focus on something greater than um, a championship or greater than a win, just a single win or a single game at a time that we do it for something greater than just that. It was our way our athletic department could uh, remember them by and uh, it's a way we could, uh, you know, show our, our support to the families uh, that were all were in, in our community that were all touched by this tragedy. So um, I don't think there's anybody in our community that hasn't been touched by it or knew somebody on that plane. The physical memorial is, uh, is designed to be, a, it's, a, it's a more permanent piece. It's a, a memorial to be able to literally walk into and touch and feel. From the sidewalk, you'll, you'll walk around a water feature that uh, will have seven basalt columns, which are individual fountains. Then you're gonna walk back to a, uh, a very striking six foot tall wall that has a hand cut stone and then it's very simple. It has all seven names. There's going to be a marker out front that will allow a visitor 20 years, 30 years, 50 years from now to understand what this is. Uh, a short explanation of what happened and who the guys were. Our part is we go out and play well and play hard and, uh, and play with great effort and enthusiasm and, and make people proud of the way we play and, uh, and, and proud of these uh, seven men who are a big part of our community.